It is wrap day. What did I decide to do? Have I been leading you guys on? Is this going to be a neon pink beauty? Stay tuned and you'll find out. Buckle up, Buttercup. I've had Buttercup 2.0, I think less than 48 hours, went all the way up to Bessemer, Alabama. Is that how you say it? I don't know. Town and Country Ford from Mitchell Watts. Drove all the way there to my house, made a pit stop, slept, and then all the way down to Davie, Florida, because you know I had to deal with the one, the only Tint House Customs. Because if you guys recall, last year they wrapped Buttercup, the OG, in the matte military green. They did a fantastic job. Plus, the wrap held up tremendously better than I could have ever imagined. There's a reason why I went with a black Bronco this time, and that's just because I knew I was gonna wrap it. I like having the base being black because if I take the doors off, the door jams are gonna be black and it's gonna match really any color that it's wrapped with. Well, I'm getting like cues of, hey, Krista, get out of here. We have a lot of days work to do. So I'm gonna take Jess's advice and get the heck out of here. Let them get to work. Let the professionals do what they do best. And I cannot wait to show you the end result. A few moments later. Today is the day. Wrap day. Wrap day. day. We finally get to see Buttercup 2.0 in her brand new wrap. We are so excited. It's been, I think I dropped it off about a week ago. They took their time. They poured their heart and soul into this. They gave me very little picture updates, but they did give me plenty of updates of what they were doing. And I am so excited to see it. And the door just opened, which means Jim, camera guy, is gonna go in there to get prepped to get our initial reaction to the wrap. Bye, Jim. All right, let's go. Let's do it. <laughs> All right, guys, so I'm about to check, uh, get a, an update on the look of it before everybody else does because you know this is the life of a camera guy so i'm gonna go ahead and take a look at it first and then we're gonna catch the reaction of all the other games so here we go oh man this thing is right i'll tell you what look i'll give you a little peek oh but you can't see it yet you're gonna get to see it when they get to see it so you guys ready for this because this thing looks dope it is awesome hands down my favorite rap job I've ever seen. I'm super psyched about it. Let's see what Chris has to say. Is it behind here? Yeah. Oh, man, you really made it difficult yeah, like a maze. You have to walk through a maze. You guys ready? <gasps> Holy cow. What do, you, <laughs> what do you guys think? you come over here what did you do <laughs> she doesn't like the camera but I'm gonna still give you a hug oh this is the mastermind right here thank you I have goosebumps for real look at this I have actual goosebumps and it's not that it's cold outside it's like 90 degrees oh it is I love that it's 3d from this to that yeah to that so shout out to Apollo Ridge Design. They came up with the rendering and graphics for this thing and they made it come to life. And it wasn't an easy task for you guys either. I mean, this took a lot of work, a lot of sweat and maybe some tears. I don't so, know. Yeah, a, a bit of trial, and, trial and error involved. The yeah. stealth PPF. And I love that look on black anyway. And then you add in these amazing color graphics it just yeah. comes together it just looks so good one thing i love is that it's a nod to the original buttercup with the matte military green in it 
and we had a hard time. I mean, this is kind of a behind the scenes info right here. We had a hard time with the second color because we were going back to like, are we gonna do tan? Are we gonna do gray? And he made an executive decision and went with this essentially. And he sent me a picture, I'm like, hold on. That's better than I thought. Yeah, so yeah. don't know what you did there, but thumbs yeah. up. Ben and Jess are very active in the Bronco community and in the Mustang community. And he is also organizer of this amazing charitable event that's gonna be happening here in October in Florida. So if you're in Florida, you're gonna have to check it out, but we're gonna let Ben give you all the details about the event. All right, so a little history on the event. We um, started in honor of 9-11. Uh, it was actually a year after the tragedy. Started off uh, a bunch of guys in the Stanks of South Florida. We were like, hey, let's go down to the Keys on a weekend and just make a car cruise. So we're picking a date, and then the date, the next one, like about a month out, happened to be 9-11, which fell on a Saturday. So we're like, shoot, let's do something. Let's make this like an honorable thing. Back then, Mustangs had antennas. <laughs> so we uh, had American flags on our antennas. This is like, uh, I guess it was like 2001, 2002. Um, and we got uh, police and fire escorted. We got to do this little run around the Homestead track. We had so much support. We actually raised money for victims of the, uh, you know, families of the victims from the tragedy. And we flew to New York and we gave the donation. Oh, cool. And we've kept it going every single year for 21 years now. Now the one we've been supporting for several years now um, supports PTSD uh, awareness prevention and so forth. It's called Lift to Tell Foundation. And there's gonna be a, a Bronco trail ride out to uh, Yucca Pens. So be sure to sign up ASAP because there are limited spots for Broncos and for Mustangs. It doesn't matter which yeah. one you love. You yeah. can bring both, bring one, yeah. whatever. And Ben, Jess back there, she's a little camera shy. She's the one that made this amazing, beautiful work of art with the help of Oliver and a few other people here. Yeah. Um, but thank you guys so much. Now you guys know about that amazing charity event, but I know you guys are wanting to know more about this wrap. I specifically ordered a black Bronco because I went into the mindset of, you know what, this thing's gonna be wrapped. At that time, I didn't know if I was gonna go hot pink, green, blue, rainbow, who knows? But after a lot of thinking, like 18 months of thinking, I finally figured out what direction I wanted to go with this Bronco. The OG Buttercup was wrapped in 3M matte military green. So I wanted to pay a tribute to Buttercup, include some matte military green because I really loved the way that she looked, but I wanted to set this Bronco apart because it's a new journey, a new chapter. So I reached out to Apollo Ridge Designs and I kind of told them my vision. Like, I don't know, do I want to go like neon colors, but I want to pay tribute to the original Buttercup to have the matte military green. I like off-road colors, the browns, the greens, the earth tones. I just didn't know what I wanted. Well, they got to work and they gave me a bajillion choices, a bajillion renderings, and I finally narrowed it down to this rendering. With the amazing help of Tint House Customs, they brought this rendering to life, and in all honesty, brought it better than I could have ever imagined. I wanted to keep the base color black, and I went with the Expel Stealth PPF. There's a couple reasons why I decided to go with a PPF versus a wrap. My 3M wrap lasted <laughs> pretty dang good for what I put it through. You guys know I go through mud, I do some crazy trails, and I can easily get pinstriped. And you saw how well my paint held up with my 3M wrap. Well, PPF is made to protect the paint. I think typical wraps are like two to three mils. This is like eight or nine mils. So it's definitely gonna protect the paint more. The best part about the PPF is it's self healing. You heard that right. If you're going through the tight trails and you're getting these pinstripes along your vehicle, don't worry, just sit out in the sun or get a heat gun and those scratches disappear. I knew the self PPF just wasn't gonna be enough for what I was going for. I wanted to bring my brand to life. I wanted Buttercup to be known when she was on the streets. So I knew I had to incorporate some sort of graphics and that's where these graphics came to life. There are two reasons why I did that. The first reason is PPF is self healing. I wanna protect these graphics as well. So why not put it underneath it? The second reason is, with the graphics being underneath the PPF, I don't ever have to worry about the graphics getting stuck on a towel. It's protected and it's smooth and seamless. And after being here, there's actually a third reason why I'm happy that I did go that route. It gives it an incredible 3D look. Not only did I get this amazing wrap done, but I had some stuff done to the windows and not just any stuff. I had the Expel ceramic window tint done all along, all in the front and the sides of the Bronco. 
There's the benefits of just tinting the windows in general. You know, you get that cool, clean look, but there's so much more behind the ceramic window tint. Number one, it's gonna reduce your interior heat by like 98%. Number two, it's gonna protect the interior from UVA rays and UVB rays. Not only the interior, but me. You know, I gotta keep this skin looking nice and young. Just by the looks of all of this, I highly recommend the whole Expel setup. I cannot wait to get this out in the open. They say outside that the wrap looks even better, which is so hard for me to like even fathom because I think it looks fantastic here as it is. Be sure to stay tuned because after three months, I'm gonna do a solid overview and review of what I think about the Expel wrap and the ceramic window tint. None of this would have been possible without Tint House Customs and Expel for their amazing contribution to this Bronco build. You all know how much I love Tint House Customs. They are no stranger to the Bronco community, especially here in Florida. They are at many Bronco events. They have a Bronco and they also have a Mustang. So I think we're gonna be seeing more of each other in the future. If you're not in Florida, don't let that deter you because they have a lot of clients that actually ship their cars in to get ceramic coated, expelled PPF, wrapped, tinted, you know the whole works. The best part is Tint House Customs is a certified dealer and installer for all Expel products, not just the wrap, the ceramic coating and everything. You really have to be careful when you want to spend that much money on a PPF or ceramic coating to make sure that the place you're dealing with is a certified Expel dealer and installer. This comes with an amazing warranty. And if you don't have a certified installer putting it on, that warranties no bueno. Be sure to leave comments below of what you think of the amazing, beautiful Buttercup 2.0 in her amazing debut here at Tin House Customs in Davie, Florida. Be sure to look them up. Tell them thank you on behalf of Buckle Up Buttercup. They did an amazing job. It took them a whole week of love to make sure every inch of this vehicle was perfect. And the best part is they're gonna put the same amount of effort into your vehicle. Ben and Jess are amazing people in the Bronco community, in the Mustang community. So they're just an overall great business to deal with. I love hanging out with them. Be sure to look them up. Thank you, Expel, for the amazing PPF, the ceramic tint. I just can't wait to get this outside and see what it looks like outside. So much content ahead. The build is just starting. I can't wait to take you guys on this journey. Until next time, buckle up, buttercup.